recording. All right, everybody. Uh, we were having a couple glitches on my end, so we're going to try this again. Uh, welcome to Hillsborough 100 and Real with my good friend Angie Lugo. Before I uh, kind of get an intro from her, um, I've known Angie throughout the years. She's a great person, and um, she's, she's going to be getting married. She's going to be talking about that. That's why we're doing this uh, this summer. So, Angie, before I dive into some questions, um, that I'm sure people are interested in and they can, can use as inspiration for themselves. Why don't you give everybody, for people that don't know you around town, uh, just some background on you. You know, What do you do for work? Tell us a little bit about your family. When's the wedding date? And then we'll go from there. Okay, so so thank you, Kyle. Yes. Um, so yes, so I am a Hillsboro mom and I am also a property manager in town. I manage several communities. Uh, for homeowner associations, town home associations, condo associations, very stressful job. Uh, I have two kids. We are blended family, have a lot of kids. And we're just very busy. We're very involved with our children. We're very involved with their sports um, and involved with the community as well. Cool. So, um, You've actually gone through two of our, our two of uh, the panda challenges at the gym, it, but I want to talk about what was what was the what made you decide that okay I got to do this like what was the impetus for that? I was tired of feeling bad, of feeling just crappy, and I hit rock bottom when our when we first shut down. I just escalated to a point that I never want to go back again. It was just beyond. Um, and found myself at 48 on three medications for my heart, for blood pressure, um, and for cholesterol. It was just awful. Blood work, everything. Wow. So I came to you desperate for help. And I think a lot of people found themselves in, in similar situations when everything started because routine was thrown off. And as, as we talk about a lot, right, food is food is a drug. And, um, you know, I saw that with a lot of people. That Working from home and, yeah. and having just we would think of the next meal and having food next to the computers to just eat. I just. Yeah. Yeah. And, and trying on my wedding dress the first time. I just wasn't a happy feeling as it's supposed to be. So talk about that, right? So you got the wedding coming up July 23rd, the big, yes. big wedding day. So that was a big driver for you. You wanted, you wanted to really be special. So the first time we met about getting you, getting you on the, the Panda Challenge, what, what were your goals? What were you looking to accomplish? Well, I, I, I went in with a realistic um, goal very humble goal. I thought of two things. My doctor said, you need to lose at least 10 pounds, right? So I said, 10 pounds, that's great. When I had the conversation with you, I figured 15 pounds and I'll be thrilled. I'll be thrilled. So you, and you so- are- 15 pounds. pounds. Oh, you there? Okay. So, so yes. So we talked about the 10, we talked about 15. So I said 15 pounds, just 15 pounds to feel better. And that was how I started. And so tell everybody, because we want to bounce back, we're going to be bouncing around. What did you wind up? Or where are you at now? Because the, the journey isn't over, but where are you at? Well, I, I haven't had my official way in which I only trust yours because Everyone else is, they're all different, but I did go to the doctor yesterday for a shoulder thing. And as of there with shoes and everything on is 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Good for you. Yes. That's amazing. And, and it's, uh, I want to, you know, people, so Angie guys kind of took other people that have gone through the Panda Challenge has kind of become a mentor to them. She started, you know, uh, an accountability group, which is awesome. You know, yes. I get to see what you're talking about and, and re- really doing that. So at this point, what are you, you're uh, five months, five months out from the wedding? 
Yes. Two, two negative, negative things have happened. Um, yeah. Number one, I had to return my wedding dress because I tried it on. It was, it, I cried. It looked like a bag. It was um, almost three sizes too big. Um, and number two, I never thought that we could lose weight on our fingers and my engagement ring is huge on me. So um, I got resized on Monday. We went to purchase our wedding bands and I am much smaller. I'm like a five and a half in my fingers, which this one I think is almost a seven. So I call that as negative, but it's really not. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a nuisance, but it's a good problem, right? I just have to stop losing by May because of the fittings for my dress. Sure, sure, we'll be able to do that. And it's, um, yeah, it's been very inspirational for myself included, just watching you, because you, you put your mind to it and you just, you stay focused. I mean, it's really simple when you think about it. <laughs> you just... It is simple. And, but I, the one thing that I did say to you was just tell me what to do and I'll follow the rules. Yeah, yeah. I can't do shakes. I don't like even protein shit. You know, they're not bad. I, yeah. I don't like drinking stuff. I can't take pills because I am considered a heart patient still. Um, so I was really afraid you were going to have me do all that stuff, which is not bad, but it's just not for me. Yeah. And it's not for most when you're talking about habits and, uh, and accounting yeah. points. And that's great. And, and I've done that. I just, I live a very, uh, I don't want to say stressful life, but there's things going on always. And you talk about that. So you do have a lot going on because, uh, like you said, you got a, you got a, a blended family. You a lot of kids. A we have a lot, lot of kids. Life. A lot of things going on. Busy, busy career. Busy. How has uh, doing the panda has it simplified your life? Yes. Okay. Yes. One hundred percent. Good. One hundred percent. That's key. And I enjoy, and I enjoy, and it's changed also my relationship with food. Yeah. How so? so? When, I break, when I break a fast and I have that bowl of fruit that you so much talk about, it's, I, I take pictures and I send it to everybody. It's, it's heavenly. Yeah. And yep. I'm already stuffed almost for what I'm going to eat next. And there's no counting calories. There's no doing points. There's no, um, Shakes and protein, yeah. you know, and I kind of wish I liked them, but I just, I just can't, I can't, and I can't, you know, um, have those rules. I need something easy that I can take with me in my car at my desk, walk around with it. I take it with me upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. Talk, talk about, um, again, somebody with such a busy life that, that how much time, during your day has, has, has this freed up for you? Just the program you're following now. Like not having to stop and do a shake, stop and do a, this, stop and do this. Right. For me, for, my life is still, um, my, my kitchen is still a diner. So for me, the mind mapping that you've helped me with helps because I'm still cooking a lot. I'm still meal prepping. Some of these people here in my house won't eat until, unless I, <laughs> you know, so I'm still very busy with that. Um, but it has helped me with me being on the road, doing things, but not having to say, okay, I have to pack this food. I have to do this. You know, um, it is much better. And talk about, you just mentioned mind mapping. Obviously that's a huge part of the program. Um, it's where we spend most of our time focusing. What, what's some of the key things you've learned through the mind map teachings and, uh, implemented in your life that has helped you? It's helped me in that it's 99% of making this work. Every time I feel a hunger pain, I realize it's not a hunger pain. It's mental. Yeah. And I think of what you've told me and I drink my juice or I drink even tea and it goes away and it's all mental though. And if I'm not in a good place, I tell myself I'm not in a good place and go back to the mind mapping breathing yeah. yeah all the stuff that's going on up here and uh 
And just so you guys are aware, when, when Angie mentions the juice, it's not actual like fruit juice. It's it's what we call the juice. It's different salt concoctions we put in the water. Um, so let me let me ask a few more because the idea with this guy is I want to follow Angie up until her wedding date, right? Because a lot of people, you know, that inspires people, but everybody's got some type of event in their life, whether it's something in the summer, something coming up. So to follow somebody that that started, you know, uh, I think we started in October, November, November. Okay, was was the first one you did, and and you're still going. Where's your mindset? Like, what's the next mini goal for you? Is it just focusing on the daily process? Um, like, where are you at mentally as you get ready for your wedding day in July? I also, I have some other just working from home and other things. Some physical injuries like tennis elbow. Now I have an injury in my rotator cuff. I want to just get better because I want to start more of the workout and tone regimen that goes along with all this weight loss. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, the more I shed, the more I realize I do need to exercise more. So, to, Cause that, that'll probably blow people's mind. And that's something that, that we teach is, is exercise is not effective at all at all for weight. all what you put in your mouth and what you don't yes I, I have this argument with certain friends that i love that exercise every single day and they're like i'm dieting that's it's what you, you put in your mouth or yeah. you don't or what you don't put in your mouth yeah yeah for us it's about the fasting period and um you know for you i know you, when you've told me about the training it's, it's really about building muscle and toning yes. up, and, firming up. Yes. And, that's, yes. and it's great for the brain Right. So I know you go out for your walks when yes. we start some of the mind map stuff to, to reduce stress hormones and whatnot. So the, move, the exercise is so good for the brain. It's not used for it should not be used for weight loss. So um, a lot of people don't know that they don't. Yeah. And, and yeah, you have a lot of people. Uh, so you have the problem is you have people that don't know much, you know, that are, let's say trainees or clients. Uh, they're not expected to know that. Yes. But then you have a lot of what I call the fake fitness experts and even doctors that, that aren't aware of this. They still follow the calories in, calories out equation, which doesn't work. Right. Um, and you're, I mean, you've experienced it yourself. And could you ever see yourself going back to eating like four or five times a day and, no. and micromanaging mm -hmm. everything? No, even on my treat days, I don't eat till like two, three o'clock, you know? I mean, sometimes if it's uh, something special, a lunch, but even on my treat days, I'm just, I, I don't understand the concept of rolling out of bed and having a meal. I, I just, I don't, I really don't. Yeah, you broke it I up. don't criticize anybody else that does, but just for me. Um, and it's not needed. Your body really doesn't need it. No, no. And, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not, my goal is not to not look like me on my wedding day. I know people criticize that. I'm not, I don't have delusions of grandeur. I just want to be comfortable in my own skin and healthy. Yeah. And happy with the way I look. Yeah. But I don't want to do that to be like, oh, that's not even Angie. That's not what I'm doing no. at all. And you can see that just by your energy, you know, the biofeedback and, you know, you've maintained all this sort of stuff we look at. And, uh, yeah, you're and this not is why the mental part, yeah. I didn't start January 1st. Mm -hmm. I didn't start on a Monday. I started during the holidays. Yeah. And I tell my friends that don't, oh, don't start Monday, start today, start on a Friday. Yep. It started during the holidays because I knew mentally, if I'm not starting January 1st, I just, which is not bad, but I needed to do it now. Not on Monday, not after a birthday, not after Valentine's day, you know, right away. Yeah. And it's it, it, what you just mentioned is what I always say. People, people are always waiting for all the lights to be green and that's never going to happen. No. You gotta go. No. You gotta go and you gotta I just, I'll give one excuse after another. And I did. And I did. Yeah. And then, but then you, you know, when, when it, when you made the decision, you made the decision and it happens like that. And, and it's, you know, that that's what people need to realize is you could think about it forever, but the decision is a split second and then your life can change. But you have to really want it. Yes. Yes. And you talked about health um, before we, we, you know, we won't, we'll keep these kind of like micro sessions. Cause again, I want everybody to follow you. We'll be doing these every couple, couple weeks. You talked about your health. Um, I know when we did, uh, when we met at the end of the last Panda, talk about uh, what your doctor said, were you able to get off any medications? Yeah. Talk so my doctor, I basically, I, 
my cardiologist, I was very scared when I started this program because a lot of doctors think these are crash course diets and um, they just don't like it. And um, my cardiologist was thrilled. She was thrilled. So thrilled. In fact, she gave me um, a pamphlet on the art of fasting nice. and she pushes it um, to her patients. Um, I, I left there so happy. And she said, my, my blood work came back fabulous. And it was not that way a year ago. It was just awful That's awesome. in all aspects. Um, and so she said, another 10 pounds and I'll take you off your meds. And now we're 25 pounds, you know? So she, um, I go back in June just to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And my primary doctor also the same thing. I went in for a physical and I got compliments. What are you doing? That's great. So That's it's a good feeling. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Really, <laughs> especially that I have those that, you know, poo poo it. Yeah. Which is yeah, okay. No, yeah, it's okay. People can do what they want. It's okay. You know, and you've seen other people in the groups. I mean, the, you've seen other uh, pretty remarkable things. And uh, we have a great group. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's not just Kyle groupies, you know, we have friends that, that you're, you have taught me to teach them to do the program. Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. That don't even know you, that know yeah. who you are, Yeah. you know? Yeah. That's so, what it's about. I mean, that's what I've I mailed this book to California. <laughs> um, I, my, my book, I mailed to California. My other one I gave to my wedding planner who's doing it and she has a really hard time. And you know, with just losing weight, and she's doing good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that's what it's about. You know, it's about uh, you know spreading the message, and you pay it forward, and it's right. about changing, you know, helping to people transform their lives. And uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna continue to follow you because so, uh, again, I think you're gonna be a, a very big inspiration for people uh, the next five months, but and, and going forward. But I really want people to to really. Uh, see what you're going to do and, and see where your mindset's at. And uh, you're holding me accountable. I hold you accountable. That's what we're going to do with these sessions too. Any, any uh, final words for episode one, Angie? My final words is first thanking you for getting me into this journey. And this is something that anybody that wants to try a successful weight loss program should really consider. It's healthy and for your body and for your brain. Excellent, excellent. And, um, yeah, I'm proud of you. We will do this again in about two weeks and uh, I'll obviously talk to you before that. Um, mm -hmm. So Angie, you have a great day. You Thank too. You for your time, just give me Thank one you. second here to bring this to a stop.